you guys how you doing it's your girl simply love and i'm back to do a reading for you as i was supposed to do yesterday but i got tied up into something i apologize uh, but i'm here now and we are going to do the video as you can see by the description it says <coughs> somebody's watching somebody's watching you uh collective we're gonna find out why what's their intentions why are they you know, why do they have their eyes on you? Is it good intentions? Is it not so good intentions? Is it somebody that you know or or what? But I've been getting that message for a while that you're being watched. Some, it could be a, a is it, we're going to find out. We're going to find out, is this like somebody who's, who's just watching, admires you or what? We're going to find out what's going on here. Because it's been bothering me for a few days since I posted it. Okay, so we're going to find out who this person is and what is it that they want from you guys. This may not be for everybody, but and some of you may already know it. Holy Spirit, ancestors, what is the energy of this person who is watching Who is watching the collective? Why are they watching the collective? Can you give me the messages, please? What are the messages? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I have been telling you guys, um, I got a, a few people, uh, if you're a moderator of mine or, and if you are uh, joined as a membership, I need you to uh, look and get my, my email address is going to be in the description, but it's ssimplylove06 at gmail.com. Uh, I want to try to send everybody's at one time. So I don't have to keep going back and forth to the uh, post office. But if I, if everybody's just, you know, periodically, there's nothing I can do about it, but send it as you guys come in. Uh, I got a gift for you that I want to send to you. So, you know, please, if you're a moderator, don't be afraid to step up, step up, you know, and send me your, don't put your, your address on um, here on YouTube. You don't want nobody to have your address on YouTube. Just Put it in my email address, please. Okay, thank you. I really appreciate you guys. Whoever watching you is this Knight of Wands energy. I'm sorry, King of Wands. Sorry about that. This King of Wands energy. I don't know why this thing is showing me a square and it's following my face i gotta fix something in my if you guys know what to do let me know i hope this thing ain't going off and on or something but anyway it could be this king of wands this is somebody who is uh mature okay this is somebody who who normally takes action maybe this person is getting ready to take some type of action towards you the ace of cups this is regard this is a love situation it's a new beginning. This person may be nervous, but usually the wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, it could be. Uh, Ari, uh, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio could be, but they want to express their love. They want to come rushing in. This person's going to come in. Maybe it was someone they had to get rid of. Or it, it could be, look, for some of you, some of you know this person. You probably dealt with this person. Some of you is somebody new because we got the Ace of Cups here. Wanting to start a new relationship. And I'm feeling like maybe either you guys broke up if you know this person. You know, there was a tower moment here. Something suddenly. Or it could be where this person broke up with somebody in order to be with you. But there was some type of tower moment. It happened really fast and suddenly. Could be dealing with a Leo. And we got the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this person could have had a family, could have been married, in a relationship, something here. And it it, it, it it suddenly ended. It came to an end. Or something was exposed. Or it could be what... There's, I'm getting so many messages. Spirit be just okay let me get it out 
It could be where this person is rushing in to, 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 to express their love because they've been sitting back watching you, okay? And suddenly something happens or maybe they're rushing in because it, it, they ended a relationship or somebody ended a relationship here or, uh, because there's two people falling out of it. Something was exposed here. Sorry about the glare. And two people came tumbling down. There's some exposure that came out. Uh, 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 from a family, this is about family, it's about family wealth too, um, it's about prosperity. Tens are ending for new beginnings, so the tower is a, a sudden ending, and the, the, the ten of pentacles is an ending for new beginnings, so this person may have broke up with somebody, left somebody, left their marriage, messed, left their home, um, left a person, uh, divorce, relationship, something here, because they've been watching you. They want to come toward you. That's why they're watching you. That's why they're in the background. That's why they haven't come forth. Because they had to get out of something. Something something blew up here. In, in... Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> okay, what are the messages here? What are the messages? Okay, we got the Princess of Wands. Okay, wait a minute. The Eight of the Eight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, and the Prince, the Prince of Wands, or the um, the Knight of Wands. We got a lot of Pentacles here, so some of you could be a, a Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or it could be in your chart, or it could be the other person's energy. It, it we just don't know. It's general. So the Eight of Pentacles is 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 saying that this person wants to put in some hard work. They want to put the effort in. Somebody's rushing to put some effort in, hard work in. Oh. I got a new chair, y'all. I'm just loving it. I'm loving it. Push this thing up a little more. Okay, yeah. Eight of, eight of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles. Sorry for the glare again. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. And the Knight of Wands. Rushing. Rushing for what? And the Four of Cups. Wow. The Four of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So somebody wants to come in and say that they want to work hard or put in a lot of effort and hard work into a relationship. And with the, you got two fours on two fours on the board. So with the four of pentacles, somebody here is holding on tightly. They want this to work, and they're coming in. They're rushing in with this knight of wands. But with the four of cups here, you may not take their offer, whether you know them or whether you don't. I, I don't know. You might not. This is this seems like a familiar thing. Like some this somebody watching somebody and it's familiar. Like you may know this. For I say 80% of you know this person. The rest of you don't know this person. And that may be the hesitancy with the four of cups here. Like not interested. But somebody's stuck on somebody here. That's why they're watching. Like, they can't stop watching. They can't stop watching you here. What are the messages, Spirit? What is... Why can't they stop watching this person? What? what who is this person? What is it? Okay, so... Let me get a few more messages, and then I'm going to start clarifying. Okay. 
Okay, so the strength card, someone could be dealing with the Leo. So somebody's trying to gain their strength and have, you know, uh, tame themselves or tame a situation. And the five of wands, but it's some they having some kind of inner conflict, or you guys have an inner conflict about this, or it's just like there's drama or some kind of conflict here. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, the strength is a Leo, so a Leo could be here, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn could be significant. Mm, and the devil. Remember, y'all, these, these people, these aren't people, they're actual energies, okay? Because the tarot is all about energy. That's all we are anyway. We're energy. We pull in good energy or bad energy. It depends on what we rocking on, okay? Depending on if you grew up or not, okay? Because somebody is obsessed. This person is obsessed, okay? It could be a Capricorn that somebody's dealing with. That's why they're having inner conflict, five of wands. But they're trying to tame themselves. <laughs> but this person is obsessed with watching you because they want to come in. They want to rush in. But that obsession could be toxic or it could it just could be where they just obsessed about coming in um and, and showing up okay here's the justice okay they want to balance something they want to make something fair here some of you dealing with a libra possibly or they could be a libra or have something in their chart i i just I just got a feeling that you guys are familiar with whoever this is. It's somebody that you've known, even though the Six of Cups didn't come out. It's just the storyline seems like they know. Uh, or seem like you know, or something like that. Yeah, the fool. Somebody wants to start a whole new beginning here. Take a leap of faith. Somebody could be dealing with the Aries or an Aquarius. What's going on here? Thank you. Here's the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. So this person could have been a married person. This person could be a father figure or a father or, or something. Uh, this person is loyal and kind and generous, reliable. They want to bring some type of stability. Remember, kings are, are, are mature. They done been through all the dumb stuff. They usually, kings usually, that's why I was wondering why they got kings on a horse. Because in the regular tarot decks and most decks, kings are sitting in a chair, not on no horse. That's what's got me confused here with this when I was saying knights. Because all the knights are on horses, so it's, it, it confused me a little bit. So we got tempers. This person has balanced themselves out emotionally. They're very well balanced. This is a laid back, kicked up, per, kick, kick back person. This person has a lot of patience. They're, they have a lot of patience when it comes to this situation situation with you they're, they're very patient i ain't never seen nobody this patient with the strength card this person could have leo in their chart or you can um they could have libra in their chart or it could be a libra something like that but this person is calm cool and collected if that makes sense to y'all whoever this person is in the background they just watching just watching. Uh, I think they went through a breakup or a divorce, something like that, with a family situation. Probably have to... Um... Well, I'm here shelling out money or something. We got a lot of major energy here. The temperance, justice, devil, strength. 
in the tower. So we got the four of wands. We got two fours here. So we got a lot of eights. We got two, four, let's see. Four of pentacles, four of cups, and the four of wands. So we almost got all fours. Now all we need is the four of swords, okay? So I want y'all to look up 444 to get more messages, okay? Because you got four four fours on the board. So, you know, type in Google, what does 444 mean angel angel uh, number means? And it's going to give you a, a big detail that may mean something to somebody who's watching this video. If, if 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 this is not resonating or if it hasn't happened to you, some of this, some of this may y'all it may have happened to some of you already. Some of you it could be happening now, or uh, and some of you this could be uh, the near future for some of you. So the four the four wands next to the temperance. So this is like, I don't know, this person may have marriage on the mind or uh, wanting to live with you or asking to live with you or want to live with you or something or a wedding. This person may be planning a wedding. You may not know this because this person is looking for stability with you. Yeah, King of Cups. Yeah, they got this. I was getting ready to put this deck down, and this popped up in front of my face. King of Cups. This person got mad love. They coming in with love, stability, King of Pentacles, King of Wands, uh, Passion. This person could have been hasty in the past and made... Uh, uh, decisions without thinking about it in the past and it caused some um, disappointment it caused them to to, to kind of like I don't know uh, get a little bored with it they may have got bored with that situation with you know these four cups being offered they turning down offers now because in the past I feel like they was a, a runner you know didn't want a relationship non-committal but now they've gotten, they've gained strength or they was just in a, 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 a toxic relationship with a karmic with this devil on here. But I'm feeling more like this is for some of you is toxic. For some of you, it's just obsession. This person is obsessed with you, with watching you. But they're getting ready to make some kind of uh, final decision here with justice here. It's going to be fair. In the full card, they're going to take a leap of faith. King of Pentacles, uh, they're very stable, very grounded. This person has grown up. If you've known this person, y'all was in a relationship before, maybe you helped them to grow up. Maybe there's something you helped them see. I'm picking up a lot of tarot readers for some reason. For those who are single, I feel like they're, I feel like, you, this is the year this is the year you're gonna meet your you're gonna meet someone who is stable reliable because of all the energies that you've been putting out in the universe to uh, helping people uh raising people's vibrations um it's coming back to you especially in a relationship money as well with the ten of Pentacles uh, I feel like you're gonna get um you tarot card readers for some of you, you know, like I, like we said, there's good and bad in, in, in everything. It don't matter what it is. There's good and bad there, even in ourselves. Light and dark energy. With the light and dark energy, that's where we need the strength, which is come out here. You need the strength to tame that shit. That's what it is. It's not a ma a person or anything. It's it's just an energy. It's light and dark energies. That's all these cards talks about, the light and the dark. And it, it kind of put it gives you the story of what's going on. But somebody here is really in love here. King of King of Cups. They they're very mature. Very mature. This person is mature. They have grown. If they wasn't in the past, they've grown now. And their eyes is fixated on you, collective. 
They've been watching you for a while here. While they was even going through a tower moment. I feel like maybe they had to heal too with the temperance card here. This person had to heal. From a broken marriage, a broken rela uh, relationship could have been with a karmic again for some of you. Or this person's just growing up. They're growing up from this uh, Knight of Wands to King. Kings in all areas. Emotionally, physically, mentally. Well, no, nah, I don't see mental yet. But <laughs> uh, maybe this person's got out of their head. Well, the mental card could be the justice. They just, they just went to the top with this. They just made a total... If I put all these together, this person made a transformation, okay? The death card is here, right? Is the death card here? No, it's not here. But this is a death of the ego and pride that this person had in the past. The two of swords. Where they were, or there was some indecision that happened in the past, in their mind. They couldn't make up their mind what they wanted or whatever. And the Nine of Wands. This is all this fire energy, you know. Um, this is action oriented. Fire is action oriented, uh, hot, spicy. This person was doing the same thing over and over and over again, and they kept getting beat up by love. That's what I hear spirits saying. Because they were being indecisive, not making it. There was, you know, there was a choice that they had to make, but they refused to make it, okay? They wanted to stay in this player energy, the Knight of Wands. You know, they wanted to have several options here, but, you know, you know, it, it was just boring to them. It was getting boring. It was... So they gathered strength here. To beat this five of wands energy, internal conflict, conflict around them in general, be, or physical. It could be they could have been involved with physical fights, a karmic energy, low vibration, obsession, um, s sex addictions. This person went through some things, but they finally cleaned their act up here with justice. They started making their wrongs right, and I feel like they want to come to you and make their wrongs right. They want to do the right thing. They haven't, they haven't voiced this yet. Whoever this is watching you that you may know, may have been in a relationship with in the past. <laughs> Princess of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. They could have been dealing with someone who was younger than they were. And this. Or page of cups. That's the page of cups. They could have been dealing with somebody who was younger. Or if they were older or whatever. they This person had um a very immature energy compared to this person. Compared to the one that's looking at you. And... and possibly left this person already or will be however it may go here they leaving this younger immature energy out of the picture because they are very immature they can't do nothing with this person this person here has grown grown more than what they were in the relationship with this younger person or younger energy that's coming in this person could have had children or something Maybe that's why they stuck, stayed stuck in a devil position, using the devil energy was around them. But Justice came along and said, uh, we're going to cut this out and give this person the opportunity to move on, move forward with their life towards you. King of Pentacles, more stable, more reliable, got their stuff together, tempered themselves. I just keep a...
I just keep getting the energy. This person is very calm, very cool, very collective, very patient, and very loyal, which they weren't in the past, but they are now. Okay, so we have the high priestess here. The high priestess, I'm telling you, I just said this. I feel like this is for a lot of tarot readers out there. If you're single or something or somebody you used to talk to for some of you, for some of you, it's going to be new. But a lot of you tarot readers out here, this is your year um, because you've been putting in the work and spirit wants to um, uh, thank you, okay, for what you've been doing, for being uh, not all of you, you know. You know who you are. You know what you've been putting out in the universe, where it be good or bad. But, the, you know, somebody, you're getting rewarded here. A lot of the tarot readers, you guys are going to be in relationships. You're not even going to be online that much because you're going to explore this relationship. It's not because of the relationship. It's because spirit wants you to take that time to uh, bring to 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 get to know and 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 and. So you could be in this relationship. A lot of you been doing the work, meditating, coming on here, helping other people, staying, you know, uh, busy with your messages, bringing on the truth, not that sugarcoating stuff. It ain't the ones who've been coming on here sugarcoating and bringing on a lot of drama about this and about that and keeping people stuck in a certain situations, not telling the truth, sending out, um, um, uh, 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 messages that aren't true just to keep followers or have more followers and make more money. Not you guys. The ones that has been telling the hardcore truth whether you like it or not. That's for, that's for those. This is for those. You're getting new love coming in here or some of you getting someone that you may have known from the past or that you were in a relationship with. And they may have chose someone younger, but now they have grown and they want to take a chance with you with the fool card. They want to take this chance. They've been watching you online, you tarot card readers. Somebody's been watching you, whoever this person is. Some of, like I said, very eighty percent of you know this person. Twenty percent you don't, and it's going to be new. You're not even aware that this person is watching you in the background. Okay, but spirit said it. For a lot of you tarot card readers, th th this is coming for you. You, some of you already know. You know you're that, you're just that powerful that you already know. You probably done reading on yourself and things like somebody else done reading for you. Some of you already know. You have the knowledge, whether you know this person or not. You know that this person is watching you. Some of you, and you know, is somebody that you were close to. Yeah, look at that look on their face. They know. They know. Because some of you, are, uh, I'm hearing this too, been looking in your look, looking uh, spiritually in your Akashic records and you're trying to find out, is this that person? Some of you, like I said, no. You done found out. It was it's, it, written in the book. You already know. You can see. You can see the light and the dark. You know, you can see what's hidden, okay? This person is hiding and looking at you, watching you, okay? But you already know that they are for some of you. Yeah, it's your emperor. Look at that. I was wondering why spirit kept nudging me like somebody's watching. I don't know what they were saying. At first, I thought they were like somebody watching me. Like, I don't give a shit who's watching me or what. Yeah, I got a, a audience or whatever, you know? I was thinking on those terms, but then the spirit like, uh, no, you have to tell... You have to make a video that some they watching. Somebody's watching. They get ready to come for. They want y'all to know. They get ready to come forth, and they coming forth straight up, straight up. No shenanigans. No bullshit. This person is done with all that. Okay. Somebody needs to forgive. Somebody needs to forgive because, like I said. If you know you're a tarot reader or something, and you don't look in your akashic records. You already know. Yeah, you could be dealing with the Aries. It could be a Pisces.
but whatever's wrong is going to be right. You're going to get your just due here in 2022. That's when it's all going to start happening. Here in 2022. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. I love it when Spirit comes in and, and, and confirms to me about the message that I'm giving is correct from them. Not me. I'm just a messenger. But I love it when they confirm it because they're saying the Ace of Swords. That is the truth. Like it or not, that's the truth. You got This is the clarity that you were needing or wanting for some of you. It's the truth. They're coming in in 2022. Whoever this person has been sitting back just watching, 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 doing the work on themselves, uh, doing a, a total cleanse, a rebirth with this temperance card here. They just been, that's what I'm saying. I don't know why the death didn't come out, but it's coming out in a different way of this person going through a total transformation. They was tired of options, something, I don't know, you sparked something in this person. I don't know. Maybe you were the only one. I don't know. It, 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 or it's the, just divinely guided, period. This is really, really... That, I chose to use these cards because of the energy that was pulling on me. Um, I knew it was going to be something beautiful. And these cards are very beautiful. So I just wanted to get them. I wanted to use them. The Hermit. Yeah, I told you. This person's been going through a spiritual awakening. And they've been finding themselves. Even though they was obsessively watching you with the Devil card here. Justice came. I feel like they went through some type of karma as well. They've been going through a karmic situation and just but their 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 slate is clean now now it's going to be justified and this person is going to be is set free to come towards you they got balance and stability now they had to get their money together they had to get their spirit together mind body and spirit this person was doing a lot of work i keep telling you guys is somebody who is this person is so laid back it's ridiculous okay it could be a virgo for some of you. Or somebody had Virgo in their chart. Or anything like that. That's a major card. We know that. But this person has seen the light. You know. Look. They seen the light. And that's the truth. Spirit is confirming it. That this reading is the truth. For some of you out there. That can resonate. Um, And then we had the three of pentacles. Like yeah. They're coming back. Look. They've been thinking about this for a long time. They've been ghosted they ghosted like you ain't seen or heard from them in a while and stuff because they've been pulling their self together they've been they've been um meditating they've been speaking to the most high or angel god spirit gods i feel like this person been getting messages in their dreams from their uh their loved ones who's crossed over this person has been very enlightened and they've grown so much whoever you are out there this resonate congratulations to you you deserve the best i'm glad you didn't stay in this devil energy or stuck to someone who just was just too immature for you because i'm not uh, whatever it is i'm not seeing love maybe one love more than the other with the ace of cups i'm getting more messages y'all please bear with me but this person was like in and out, in and out, running in and out, all over the place like a wild pony, telling you all this stuff with these four of cups, but never followed through with none of them. It became boring. I feel like you accepted their cups many times, but nothing never changed. But then, you know, all of a sudden you, you gain strength and clarity. And you're like, there was a tower moment. Maybe something, maybe you found out something, something was exposed. Maybe between the both of y'all, maybe both of y'all got exposed for something. I don't know. But this, that's what it's looking like. So with the Three of Pentacles, yeah, they're coming in to collaborate. It's a contract as well. We got the Four of Wands, which is about marriage. This person may want to get married and be really committed. Want to get tra traditional on that ass. This person wasn't no traditional type person. If you could see what I just told you, how they were living their life. Seven of Swords. 
in reverse. Thank goodness. I was getting ready to have a heart attack here. So with the seven of swords in reverse, um, it's usually, you know, sneaky, lying and cheating. They, they don't, they, they got rid of all that. They're not doing that anymore. This person's not being sneaky. They're not lying they're not stealing if they whatever of those categories that they used to do they don't do that no more this person has set their self free for real for real Whew, this energy has got me all heated up beautiful beautiful energy i like this Congratulations to all the tarot card readers who are going to experience this here in 2022. If you haven't already, it's coming out of nowhere. You're going to least expect this person been watching you this whole while. They've been watching your platform. They even been uh, behind the scenes to themselves, been taking up on your advice because they see that a lot of your videos that you've been making was the truth. It hit them. It hit home to them. So they've been taking your advice, listening to you. They found out the truth, possibly through you and through your readings. And you, I don't feel like y'all was talking about this person. You were just doing, delivering the messages. That's all you were doing. But it hit home to this person. Like they're like, wow. And then that's then they started watching you. Then they start getting obsessed watching you. Because you was giving them a lot of clarity and truth here. So they put their player card down or whatever the heck they was doing here. <laughs> Three of Cups. Because they want this union. They want to reunite. Period. They want to show or express some emotions. Maybe this person used to be cold. Like they didn't tell you how they felt. Yeah. Oh boy, Spirit giving me more messages. Here we go. Okay. I got you. I feel like this person used to run. Every time you would offer them a cup of your love, this person would run. They was a runner. That scared them. They wasn't used to that. They was used to these people coming in their lives and using them for stuff and you know, this person was, I, I'm not saying they was a bad person. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that they got into, there's something that happened within a marriage with this person could be divorced right now. They could be a divorced person or just, and I feel like that took a toll on this person or something because this person was like family oriented. They had high hopes and stuff on something or maybe a couple of people and it just didn't turn out that way. This per this whoever this person was getting involved with over and over again was someone who was non-committal uh, and they didn't see eye to eye. Um this person could have been doing putting um sex magic, I'm hearing. Nevertheless, it is what it is. We all do we we there's spells being done every every single day by the words that come out of your mouth. Spells are nothing but words. Some people, when they get into all that, you know, moon and, and, and all this going to practitioners, all, most of the time they don't even know what the hell they doing. They just, most of the time they don't know what they doing. This person, okay, spirit. Oh my God, I want to, never mind, let me not upset the, the spirits and do what I'm supposed to do tell these messages I'm hearing that um whoever this person was around or, or this person was uh putting some if they were drinking with this person or smoking or something this person always came to them with 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 um uh spirit saying concoct concoction concoction concoctions like they was putting something, something in this person, whatever they drank, whatever they used to drink, 
look people out here let me tell you something when somebody comes to you with a drink and it's already open don't drink it I don't care if you trust them or trust them or not in a love relationship with them whatever if somebody somebody's not supposed to bring you a drink that's already open unless you're at a bar or you're the bartender I mean and if something happened to you somebody put something in your drink they can tell where it's coming from or your bartender or somebody did it right or most of the time or it could be somebody that slipped you so that can happen too but nevertheless Always be careful when somebody giving you food or drinks. Be careful. Because with this four of cups, this person, I don't know if they succeeded at it because the four of cups is about, you know, rejection. Maybe after this blow up because the, the, the uh, t uh, tower is here. This person tried to come in and because, yeah, they might have tried to come in and offer this person something. Feeding this person a bunch of, um, this is like, uh, what they call it? Uh, I gotta get my memory. Y'all got to know what to get for memory? <laughs> um, love bombing this person this person love to love love bomb this person who's watching you and wants you they used to love to love bomb them they may have been dealing with an outright narcissist like somebody just just very selfish they don't care about nobody but themselves they're not a given person this person likes to take 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 talk shit they might drink a lot they may be a drinker and they like to that's when the sex magic comes in. They have to get drunk in order to have sex. Okay, that's what I... Okay, I'm not... Okay, okay. All right, enough of that. This person may be on drugs. Here's the Ten of Cups. Yeah, they want the ultimate... Ha you are their Ten of Cups. It's all... You're the Ten of Cups. You're their Ten of Cups. They want to reunite with you. They don't want to do no slick stuff and all that kind of sneaky stuff that they have been doing in the past. They've done with that stuff. They are done, done. You hear what I'm saying? Because this emperor over here is looking at the high priestess, okay? Looking right at her. Dead at her. Or him. It doesn't matter. We're not reading gender. We're reading energies. Like, I know you know. Let me show you. If they mess or, or if they mess up, they know now because they've been watching you, especially if you're a terror. I don't know why I'm getting a bunch of terror readers mainly for this video, but it is for the collective as well. They're looking at this. They're looking at this high priestess like, I know, you know, I know, you know, if, 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 if I, I don't come correct, that's why I'm coming correct. Because I know you already know I've been watching you. But they ain't going to tell you they've been watching you. But they have. And they learned a lot from you and your messages. You didn't know you were doing that, uh, Collective or Tarot Readers. You didn't know you was doing that. But you were. This is going, you know, this is the 10th cup coming here. This is the ultimate happiness. This is the joyous ending of old and, and beginning of the new. The Eight of Swords is about infinity. You see that the, the eight there in that card? This is infinity. All right. This person has it in their mind that this is gonna they're gonna make this last forever. They want forever. I that's what I that's what I'm hearing about this card. It, it may not mean that. I, I'm just going by what I have to hear with the messages. Sometimes it's, you have to use your intuition in order to get across the messages. It's not just about the cards. It's not just about the cards, y'all. And then I feel like this person is going to, when they come in, they're going to come in, you know, like I said, their mind is made up that they want you to be their everlasting. Ten of Cups, Eight of Swords, they're coming in really quickly with this Ten of Cups. Like, they look at you as being the t their Ten of Cups, their, their life partner.
Nine of Swords here. So what I'm getting the energy from this card that some of you may be um, a little in your head about it when this happening because it's going to come in really fast. Eight of Swords. Wait a minute. Or something's happening swift, swiftly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Something's. Somebody's going to be in their head a little bit. Where is Gemini Libra's energy? But I'm not feeling it's a bad thing. It's just. It's just you wasn't expecting it. Because the eight goes to the nine. It's like <laughs> somebody's going to be all in their head about this offer that's coming through. It's, 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 it's what? It's destiny. That's what it is. It's destiny. But some of you are going to be in your head about it. You may even um, impose some thoughts that um, you shouldn't be imposing or thinking about things that you, some of you may start thinking about what happened between you guys and you don't need to let i'm hearing spirit say you don't need that you need to forget about heal from that and move and forgive it's about forgiveness you guys are going to be a little nervous is what i'm feeling like nervous like almost afraid that this per that you can't trust this person but spirit just already told you they already done told you yeah yeah wheel of fortune See, thank you, Spirit. Thank you, thank you. See, Wheel of Fortune, things are going to go in your favor. The wheel is turning in your favor. Major Arcana card here. So get out of your head. Get out of your your uh, head and, and don't let this stir you off of your, your destiny. The Wheel of Fortune is about destiny. Didn't I say that earlier? This is destined to be for some of you out there, especially you tarot readers. It's destined. Queen of Cups for you to fall back in love with this person or fall in love with a person if you don't know this person. It's destined. <laughs> it's destined. Yep. <laughs> Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio for some of you. Yeah, this is going to take a, 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 a positive turn. So you're going to have need to meditate for some of you to, to get this negative thoughts or try to fight it. I'm hearing that too. Some of you are going to try to fight this. Something that is destined for you. It's your destiny. This is your twin flame, four, four of wands and... What else we get here? Four of Wands, and then we had the um, the High Priestess. There was something else that indicated that too. It's a oh, the Ace of Cups. We got the Two of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. This person has has uh, had to balance out their finances I'm hearing like they had to they had a lot on their plate a lot that they were you know going back and forth with I'm not picking up juggling I'm just picking up like their finances um I'm also hearing this that they you two are destined to collaborate together to to balance out this situation uh it's uh, financially to stable it out the five of pentacles Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy wow there's a lot of earth energy in here so a lot of earth and this is a lot of groundedness a lot of grounding energy a lot of uh, peaceful energy I'm hearing peace be still I'm hearing that song, Peace Be Still. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Peace Be Still. Peace is going to be still here. Um, oh, okay. 
I'm getting a message here. I just heard Spirit say. With the Two of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles here, I feel like you're going to be asking this person, is there still a third party involved? And there's not with the Five of Pentacles. They have kicked them to the curb or or, or this person left or something like that. There's, there's no third party here. They're going to ask it. I feel like it, it, you are going to... It, it could go vice versa. This person could be asking you. Maybe you're the one watching somebody too. It could go vice versa, y'all. And they're going to say, no, they are out in the cold. Wow, there's a conversation going on. Okay. <laughs> because they did this in the past. And you are that's what you're stressing out about. You don't know whether to, uh, if you want this Ten of Pentacles. But it's faded here. Spirit saying it's faded. So just get out of your head. Go, it's okay to fall in love. I'm hearing that. It's okay to fall in love. Because this person is no longer juggling. They, this person is out of the picture. They, they're they out in the cold. They left this person in the cold. Uh, and the Nine of Cups. Because they want their wish fulfillment. Which is you. Thank you Spirit for these messages. Thank you for clarifying that the messages are true. With the Ace of Swords. I appreciate that. Um. Is there any other messages? The Page of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person is learning how to love again. This person has learned how to love because even though the pages are children, you know, I have to go by the surrounding cards and by what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling. That this person is learning to love again, not only themselves, but how they gonna how they love you. Whatever you didn't get, you're going to get it with this page of cups here, alongside of the nine of cups. You're going to get your wish fulfillment, especially emotionally. It's in all ways because you got air, fire, water. That's nothing but balance. This is about a balanced relationship. You got. All four of the elements, earth, fire, air, and water, all of it, that's balance. When you get all this in a reading like this, it's about balance, stability, money, emotions, which, which is love. Swords is about the truth, communication. You're going to get communication here. Um, what else did I leave out? Wands. You're going to get the nookie. Oh, it's going to be a lot of nookie nookie banging, bang, 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 bang going on. Okay. Yeah. That's what's going to go. Look. Oh my God. Mm, the sun, the sun will come out tomorrow, tomorrow. You guys are going to really hit it off. Yep. It's going to happen. It's destined. This is destined. Look at this. You guys are going to get married. There's going to be a proposal here. This person is coming to commit, commit. This person ain't playing. Look, I don't care what y'all been through and whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't want to hear it. So don't put it in the comments. I don't want to hear it. For You know, I, it's destined. You can't stop fate. You cannot stop what is already written in your Akashic Records. You can't stop it. You already signed the contract. Period. I don't care. In this particular reading for whoever it is out there, I don't care. I don't care to hear what you got to say about what this pe person done and how they all, or what they done to you. And I don't want to hear all that. I, I'm seriously, I don't. And I'm not going to reply to it either if you do it. All I know is this is what spirit says. And what spirit says goes. If y'all don't know what Akashic Records are, look it up or Google it. You can find that. I ain't got here. It's time to sit here and do all that. But look it up because this person is meant for you. Look, the sun is finally shining for you and this person, period. For some of you out, like I said, it's new. 20% of you. The rest of you, you know this person who's been watching you. Now, I'm sorry I didn't get it done yesterday. Some things came up and I couldn't. So I'm so, I apologize for that, but... Here it is. Here it is. Here's the reading. I didn't know what was going to come out. I just kept hearing Spirit say, uh, he needed to talk to y'all. 
or she or energies or whatever needed to say something and they said it very very well and it's been confirmed to me thank you spirit i appreciate it because i was a little nervous about them like what who's watching who why is it bad no it's a good thing whoever this situation applies to a lot of you tarot readers i'm getting spirit saying a lot of you tarot readers and it's for uh, some of the collective as well yes indeed it is collective tarot readers this is your 2022 is opening up the door for you to set you free on the journey with your divine part your divine counterpart here <sighs> i feel like this person going to come with so much love it is going to throw you off but you can't help but accept it because it's going to make you happy this person is going to make you happy Like I said, for some of you, this is not nobody from the past. This is somebody new who's been watching you and been wanting to, to talk to you and, and get to know you in the background, just watching you. And, you know, I can damn near see some faces here. I see someone who is, is Hispanic. They got real um, thick eyebrows. Handsome. There's some handsome these guys are handsome, buffed, and all that kind of stuff. Y'all going to have it all. That's all I got to say. Y'all going to have it all. Wish fulfillment. Um, I see somebody who, or a couple of men out here that they their, their head is shaved. They got the head for it. Like, they got the, they got the head for it to be without hair. Gorgeous eyes. Somebody got beautiful eyes um tall i'm seeing someone pretty tall pretty tall yeah and i'm seeing a woman and she's crying i don't i don't know what that's all about let me see if i can pull some car who's it what but, but i don't know if it's anything said it could be tears of joy uh, it could be tears of joy yeah, it's tears of joy because judgment came out. Another major art card because someone's returning and somebody's having tears of joy here. <clears throat> Whoever I'm seeing crying, this woman, it's tears of joy of this re reunited. Like this per somebody gave up hope on this person, but this person just appeared or will be appearing out of nowhere. And they somebody is crying tears of joy. Both people probably, but I'm seeing a woman crying. I thought it was tears of joy. I get ready to say, let's not mess up this reading spirit. <clears throat> Any more messages? And I'm going to give y'all something else before we go. But I love this. This is beautiful. It's got me want to cry. <laughs> it's, just, it's just beautiful. Seven of Wands, and I'm done. Everything happens in divine timing. Everything. No wonder somebody's crying tears of joy because it, it may have been a long time. Some of y'all just might have got this person out of your mind and just moved on in life. Some of you may be hooked up with somebody uh, already, a new relationship or something like that, but uh, I'm telling you, it's not going to, it's not going to happen. You're going to be with this person who's been watching you in the background secretly, learning from you, healing for you, and, and ain't nothing wrong with that. I just think it's so beautiful. I, I, you know, the energy is like, I, it's touching my heart here for some of you. And I'm, I'm happy for you. You should be happy as well. Again, I don't want to hear nothing about what this person done to you and how they done it, when they done it. it whatever happened, it happened for a reason and a purpose because it really, it really woke this person. This person, this person is, is woke like a motherfucker. You think you woke. This person's woke all the way. No doubt. 
This person ain't second guessing nothing. They ain't going back to nothing. Something may come back to them, but they're not going to accept it. Whatever it is, for some of them, something's coming back to them. And, and they already know. They so woke. They already know. They like, they already know this person coming back to them with the bullshit. Fake offers, fake everything. And this person's like, nope. Some of them. This person's like, mm, I see through you. I see straight through you. That's what I'm seeing here. Wow. So that's the reading for, <laughs> and this was what it was all about. Somebody watching you. This is, this is what's up. This is, this is what's up, y'all. Let me get y'all some advice. I just can't leave you hanging like that. Y'all gonna need some advice here. Or did I give you any advice? Did I give you advice through this? Y'all got me crying over here. Yeah. Okay. with this just to be a little nosy that's just me I'm sorry let's just see um a little bit about the dark side of, or what this person has learned or needed to learn what is this doing down here Okay, I am compromising my happiness to make sure the other person is happy. Wow. So, they're not even looking at this situation of trying to make themselves happy. They already made themselves happy. They already been through this transformation. So, they're not... Well, maybe in the past they used to, you know, just want to focus on themselves and, and, and please themselves and nobody else. But now they're really to compromise that and please you, collective. That's what they've been learning. Oh, wow. Habit and routine is not a reason to stay if it emotionally hurts. So, yeah, this person was emotionally, this person was emotionally hurt. I feel, I'm hearing that whatever they did to you, uh, happened to them tenfold. So, we got to have some compassion here. This person really got ran through the ringer here. And it, you know, it is by their own doing because of what they've done to you. But they've totally made a total change, a whole Yui here. Whoever this may be, they really have. One more card, please. Two hot heads does not lead to a, a calm outcome. So this is, I'm hearing this from spirit that whoever this person had dealt with or uh, left you for to be with, this person was a hot head. They did, they done, they brought nothing but chaos and mayhem in this person's life. So this person been through hell and back with one particular person that they chose over you trying to be a player they got played simple as that that's just how it works that's how the universe works whatever you throw out there whatever you do it will come back to you whether it's good or bad it's nothing but energies it's nothing about a devil and you know if it's about devil then you're the devil okay if it's about god then you're the god too Okay, you just all only life lessons is here is that you have to learn to to balance yourself like this person did. You got to learn to heal yourself. You got to learn to love yourself so you don't put that negative energy out there for it to come back to you. See, you you are the you are the one that writes your own book in life. It's nobody else doing this. It's you. It's you. It's nobody else. It's no devil man. It's no God man. It's energies. The energies that you do. And once you find out how powerful you are by switching these energies around, by trying to do the right thing in life, that's when life will change for you. Other than that, if you want to live in devil energy in your life, you want to take on that devil energy in yourself and use that to control your life, you're headed for catastrophe.
And that's just the bottom line. There's no in between. There's no more explaining. It is simple. A baby could, could understand what I'm saying. So when you make up your mind to change your life and become a better person or a better person and, you know, accept your karma, deal with your karma, but heal in between time doesn't mean that it's over for you. It's only over for you if you keep repeat, repeating the same kind of uh, ways that you do, whether it be good or bad, it's just you. This is how powerful you are because... If you can, if you can create chaos and mayhem in your life by the choices and decisions you make, you can create peace and tranquility and love in your life by what? Flipping the script, doing the right thing. Stop all that karma from hitting you. You wonder why you don't get nowhere. You wonder why you always broke. You wonder why you ain't got this and you ain't got that. And, and, and why people do the things that, because you have, because for some has not changed their energy. What they've done, the, the script that they wrote for themselves and put it out there in the universe, that's the thing you got to understand. The, the energy that's coming to you, if it's, if it's not good, is because you didn't put no good energy out there. That's why. The universe gave you what you gave. That's how it goes. It's just that simple. It, it's simple. Like, it's simple. It's nothing hard. Unless there's some mental uh, stagnation here and anybody can get help, so what? We all a little bit cuckoo for coconuts, but yay, come out of it. Snap out of it. 2022 is the time to do it. There's no more straggling the fence. These energies that's coming out is going to be high vibrational. And if you low vibrational, you'll stay trapped in that energy for God knows how long. You might have to come back here and do this shit over to, until you get it right. Until you get it in your head that nothing outside of you can make you but you. You could try to use somebody. You could try to abuse somebody. You could try to whatever the, the, the lower vibration is. Because this is about low vibration and helping yourself. Facing the truth about the devil inside of you that you have no control of. They got control of you. That energy that you let the devil inside of you. you ever watch Fred Flintstone or some of these pictures where they used to have the gazoo or the, the angel and then the devil. They talking, you know, back and forth here. Like, what? which direction are you going to go? You can't go both directions and, and expect to be on top. You just can't, It ain't going to happen. Because all you, you because if you're doing things that you listen to the dark side, the lower vibration energy, and you feed into it, you're creating your own life. I hope that made sense to somebody out there. Somebody out there needed to hear that. Okay, I needed to hear it at one point in time in my life. Yeah, yeah, we all do. We all got because we were instilled with this lying shit and and and, and deceiving and, and and swallowing the swabbing the fits. With Santa Claus. That was a lie. Okay. And then we conform to it. Nothing but an illusion. Okay. We keep riding on the. Okay. This is what I'm going to tell you this. And then I'm done. I don't know who this message is for. But it's for somebody that comes here to watch this video. When you make. Look. This is the thing. And this is what I've learned as well. And still learning. Every day is a learning process. I don't know everything. Yeah, I do listen to messages from spirit, but that's from them, not from me. I'm just, they're just using me. So that doesn't mean I know it all because I don't. I'm human just like anybody else. Just because I read cards, people got a lot. Everybody got different talents and gifts. So if you... Don't come to the fact that you are and the way your life is, whether it be good or bad, is what you created yourself. Nobody else did. Now, the dark side does nothing but uh, is nothing but an uh, a instigator, an instigator. OK, the dark side, if you let it take over your energy and you disconnect yourself from spirit is going to take over your life. All right. This is an energy with inside yourself that you're supposed to balance out like whoever this person is doing or people are doing or has done. This is how you go about the process. 
just by listening to this reading, whoever went through this, this is what you need to go through too. Whoever's not on, on the right page yet. Whoever don't get it yet. Because we don't want to rack up a whole bunch of karma and just keep hatching at you. That's where people start, you know, like, I don't even, so people start being like, I don't even care no more. Because they don't, they don't want to change. Or they can't, for some reason, they're making up excuses why they can't change. You know what the excuse is? Somebody else is always doing something to them. That's their excuse for not changing. So they just rack up karma at the bad karma at the bad karma at the bad karma because they don't want to they they, they want to go to church and say okay i'm here and i'm giving money so i'm saved i can do any damn thing i want to okay keep on thinking that keep on thinking that keep on thinking that way all right no you have to save yourself you have to look at yourself in the mirror and you got to do this um the dark night of the soul. You have to purge. You have to release. You have to let go of people, places, and things that no longer serve you. And you have to let go of this dark energy that, that that's totally controlling your life. Or that you're, I'm not saying to, that it's not, you're letting it control your life because you are feeding it within your own self. Call it a devil. Call it whatever you want to. Call it an angel if you want to. Call it God if you want to. Whatever. It's still nothing but energies when it all boils down. You get confused by all this shit that goes on, you know, on the outside or what they show on TV. You better get with connected with yourself. Yeah, you're going to have to be alone sometimes. You're going to have to get used to being by yourself so you can get so you can get that discernment, so you can hear because nobody's coming back here they gave you all you needed before they left they're not coming back so stop looking in the sky and drowning in your sorrows and praying and hoping and wishing you could do that yourself once you connect yourself back to where you belong or who you really are it ain't got nothing to do with the outer part it's all based on what's in this shell that been borrowed to, that that that's been borrowed until we until we go on to the next to the next okay did i say spirit everything you wanted me to say to whoever it is spirit just saying get it together in 2022 so you can dodge a bullet. I just heard that too. Dodge dodge a bullet this time. Stop getting hit by your own bullets that you're throwing out there. It's your own bullets. If you're getting hit by bullets and getting hit by life all the time, it's your bullets that you put out there. It's about not, you know, not connecting with spirit so you don't have discernment enough to make the right decisions in life. Because your decision is not in your decisions are not supposed to be emotionally motivated. We all should know that by now, by going through things. You know what I mean? You're not supposed to take your heart and make a decision from your heart. That's that's backwards. Your decisions come logically. You know, spirit brings down um, <laughs> um, discernment and, 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 and upload, downloads, whatever you want to call it, through your mind. Okay, through your mind. And then once it processes through the mind, and then your heart connects to that. And not, not the heart and then to the head. You, you're going to constantly be disappointed if you keep thinking that love is about, about the, the, the decisions you make in your heart. Your heart is going to get blown to pieces. Take it from me if you keep going down that route, making decisions on a heart-based manner. Thinking love, thinking lust is love. And it's not. It's not. And if you don't believe it, go ahead and go through and see how you see. And then sit back and, and think about how your life been going. Because that's, that's dark night of the soul. That's when you need to change. Because nothing never comes out of it. Again, the dark side is a low vibrational. It only goes but so far. Then it crashes and burns. Okay. So you're going to need to tame those two energies and work it together some kind of way where you well, where it where it doesn't consume you and take over. That's even with the light. You don't want the light to consume you and take over either because you become that's where we got religious freaks from. 
from that. They start thinking that they're better than everybody. And then they start separating themselves and all that type of stuff. That's, that's not what's up. That's not what's up. Balance is what's up. Temper, temperament, temperance is what's up. Healing is what's up. Counseling is what's up. Loving yourself with the Ace of Cups is what's up. Then you'll be able to give your love unconditionally, unselfishly, like this person's doing or going to do or is going to or coming. Take this reading as a lesson for you who for you all who are still straddling the fence and understand that that is not going to get it in 2022 anymore. Either it's going to make you or break you. Which one is it that you want here? You either going to have peace contentment and love or you're going to have uh, uh, chaos and mayhem and, 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 and crying and hurt and pain which one of those do you want to live with you just, that's what spirit want me to ask y'all put, put that down in the comments which one do you want to deal with for the rest of your life that's what I want to hear Okay, so we got fearing change is not a reason to keep the relationship going. <sighs> I just said that. Thank you, spirit. It just came out of spirit's mouth. All right? Into mine. Into your spirit. Sometimes silence just works better than arguing. And ain't that the truth? Sometimes there's people not even worth arguing with talking with because they have no logic they're still in that low vibrational energy and all they want to do is suck you into it guess what once you learn from this emperor or empress that's here on the table and, 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 and change it's always going to be that way you're always going to be complaining whining crying about every damn thing that you made your decision to do because nobody forced you to do it. You did it yourself. Accept it. Swallow it. Change it. If you can, change it. You can change your fate by what? Doing what this reading, this person or people have done in this reading that I just read about. That's how. That's how. Ain't no other way. It's common fucking sense now. It's time to grow up in this universe now. It's time to get with the program. Because you know why? It's almost over. I don't know what y'all you, was paying attention when Prince said, <laughs> you better get it together. You better get it together because it's almost over. It's almost over. It's almost over. All right. There you go. I think that's all that I have to say um, through spirit. Thank you, spirit, for allowing me to deliver this message for tarot card readers out there. I've been hearing that in my head, tarot, tarot card readers. And you all know who you are, okay? You all know you've been doing the right thing. You all know you've been encouraging. You all know that you've been telling the truth without any vic uh without uh being uh vindictive and and greedy and you know and not keeping people stuck in cycles like some has been doing it's not you it's for the ones that has been doing the right thing okay period period i don't care how what kind of name empress this uh high priest is that if you ain't been doing the right thing and, and you've been misleading these people to stay stuck because if you look at my, my readers, and I'm not bragging or anything, I'm bragging on the most high, okay? Whoever gave me this gift to do what I do, I've been listening, okay? I've been listening. There's everything in my readings. It's not stuck on one situation. How can it be when there's all kind of energies going on out here? It can't be the same old, same old all the time with everybody. It's not happening. And if you're listening and feeding it today, and you know it's not happening, that's, you need to change up something. You need to do something. You need to start telling the truth. Whether it be good, whether it be bad, whatever the energy that's coming in, you need to listen and tell. If you're going to be a messenger and a real messenger and want to be abundant, you're going to have to do the right thing. You're going to have to tell these messages the, the way spirit says tell them. Not within what you feel like because you want a bunch of subscribers. And what did I say about the dark energy? You can ride that ship all you want to, but it's going to sink all the way down to the ground. Will you be able to survive it? 
Will you ever be able to survive it? Holding back. Not saying what you need to say because of some 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 subscribers and, and, and likes and, and money? Really? We'll see about that. But you ones out there that's been doing the right thing, Spirit is giving you the thumbs up. Everything's A-OK. -okay. Love you guys. Leave your comment as the question that I asked. Now, I don't want to hear nothing about what this person did to you. I don't want to keep it to yourself. I don't want to hear it because that's, that's not what the energy is coming through here. Either you want it or you don't. That's up to you. You have your own free will. But guess what? That's why I said, Spirit say, leave him out of it when it comes to all it. Oh, I'm going to pray to God. I'm going to do. No, because he gave you everything you needed. Before they left here, they gave you everything you needed to do what you need to do. But if you, some of you want to stay disconnected from Spirit, you'll never have discernment. And you'll never do the right thing. And it's going to overwhelm you. It's going to take control of you. And who done it? Not the devil. Not God. You done it. You done it. You.